If you're filing your own trademark application, please make sure that you have a proper description of the goods in the trademark application. I'm Angela Langlotz, trademark and copyright attorney, and I'm gonna spend the next three minutes discussing this issue. So lately, I've had a lot of people come to me to help them with refusals. These refusals are also called office actions that they got from the trademark examiner. And several of these were because the application listing of the goods and services didn't match what the applicant was doing in real life. So sometimes people will say to me, well, you know, can't we just change it in the trademark application? And unfortunately, the answer to that question is no. You cannot make material alterations to a trademark application once you filed it. It's pretty much a, you know, one, sh one bite at the apple. I was going to say one shot at the apple, but that's like the wrong fairy tale. Um, <laughs> it's a one bite at the apple kind of thing. If you file the trademark application with the wrong description of goods, then we can't change that. What we can do though, is we can abandon the trademark application and then file a new one. So what's an example of something that might be considered close, but no cigar. Let's say for example, that you have, um, you have a real estate agency, right? Now there is a description and you want to file a trademark for your real estate agency. There is a description of goods called real estate agency, but sometimes people mess this up. And a couple of months ago, I had an applicant come to me and they had described their real estate agency services as advertising for real estate, but they, it really, they didn't really have an advertising agency. They had a real estate agency. So I was kind of wondering, you know, is this even going to go through? Um, and I don't know why they didn't just describe their goods as a real estate agency. That to me, I, I still don't understand. <laughs> But the, these are the kinds of things that people do when people file their own trademark applications. Um, I don't remember how this one turned out, but there's always a better way, a more accurate way to describe your goods if you know what you're looking for in the trademark manual of goods and services. So that's where I go when I need to describe goods and I recommend that everybody go there to figure out how to describe their goods. So what happens if you misdescribe the goods? Well, if you misdescribe the goods, what happens is you can't prove use of your trademark because your trademark usage has to match what's in the trademark application. So let's say for example that um, you filed the trademark application and you described your goods as real estate advertising, right? But you were really a real estate agency. So you were in the business of kind of brokering the buying and selling of real estate. You weren't really in the business of advertising the real estate. The real estate was kind of um, the advertisement was something that happened in the course of your agency services. So at Fundament, what you were really doing was being a real estate agency, and that would have been the proper way to describe your goods. So if the examiner says, hey, you're not really an advertising agency, you're a real estate brokerage, so I'm gonna refuse your proof of use because it doesn't show use on a real estate advertising agency, then you either have to persuade the examiner that what you're doing is really real estate advertising, or you have to abandon the application and file a new one because you can't show use in your commercial or, or you know, residential real estate business for advertising. You're really an agency. So that's an example of how you can torpedo your own trademark application if you choose the wrong description of goods. If you would like your trademark application or any other uh, trademark questions or copyright questions answered, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer those on a future live video. You can find me on YouTube. I have a huge video library there of over 450 videos. 
Just go to YouTube and search Trademark Doctor. You'll find me. I'm also on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Trademark Doctor and online at trademarkdoctor.net. Let me know if I can answer any of your trademark or copyright questions in a future live video.